Let me create a fun design for my bullet point slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to make the background a little bit more fun. For that, I'm going to borrow the background from one of the design themes. So let me create a new presentation and then steal that design. So let me go to default theme, go to design and then let us see if I have a nice background somewhere. Yeah, this one looks to have a pretty nice background. Let me go to slideshow. So I'm going to just take this background. The way I do that is very simple. Let me use Windows Shift S shortcut. So I can just grab this entire screen and then hit escape. Come back to my original slide, right click and paste it on the slide. I don't want this floating around as a picture like this. I want it as a slide background. So I'm going to now cut this and put it in the clipboard by pressing Ctrl X. Then right click on the slide area and then go to format background and choose picture or texture fill. Since I already cut the design, I'm going to use picture source as clipboard. Now I have a nice background for this slide. Then let me change the slide title. Let us say slide title text here. Let us make the font a little bit more readable. So let me select this and choose a contrasting font color, which is white color. Now this looks pretty plain. So I want to add some design elements and let us really keep it quite simple. So let us go to shapes and I'm going to choose one of the shapes here called rectangles and let us draw a rectangle like so. And since I want to keep the colors to be fairly muted, I want to use just a simple white band like this. So let me go to shape fill, use white band, go to shape outline and say no outline. And I'm going to increase the transparency all the way till 85%. So it looks subtle, yet it is still there to add some kind of a visual relief. Now I'm going to make a duplicate of this band. And I'm going to place this right below the previous one, maybe with a little bit of a distance. And I'm going to have the height to be around half of this height. So I'm going to click on this white handle and then reduce the height like so. I'm going to make a duplicate once again by pressing Ctrl D. And I'm going to make this half of this height. So I'm going to select everything, make sure that everything is aligned properly and then press Ctrl G to group it. Now this is a subtle design which can serve as a visual relief when placed along the corners of my slide. So for that, I'm going to do something very interesting. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so it, it becomes much easier for me to place them across the corner. Let us select this, right click, go to size and position. I'm going to rotate this by 315 degrees. So let us go here and say 315 and hit enter. Now this is facing exactly the direction that I want. Now this looks beautiful. So let me press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. And then I'm going to place this on the other side. Maybe if I want to have a mirror image of this, I can use this option here called flip vertical and then flip horizontal. Now you see that I've got an exact mirror image. Nice. I want to add another design element so I can bring in a little bit more of fun and flair. So let us go to pixabay.com and search for an option called half tone. I searched for SVG from vectors. Now when I go to download, I can go to vector graphic and then download that image. Now let me paste that half tone image on the slide. So let me right click and paste. I want to give this the same treatment as these bands. So first I'm going to right click and go to convert to shape option. Then let me go to shape fill and use white fill color. And then like we did the earlier time, I'm going to increase the transparency to 85%. So let us go here and hit 85%. Now that looks beautiful. Let us place this to one side like this. And I'm also going to make a copy of this and place this to the other side. So let us press Ctrl D and then place a copy somewhere over here. Let us uh, move this a little up and then place somewhere over here. Now this looks pretty beautiful, a very nice and subtle design background. Now I'm going to add three bullet points. First, let us draw the bullets. Let us go to shapes and then let us go to block arrows and pick up this one called as the chevron shape. So let us draw a chevron shape like this. Let us go to shape outline and say no outline. And I'm going to make this look a little bit more bright by using this color. And then let us press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. And I'm going to reduce the size of this a little bit and then place it a little bit in front of it. And then let us change the color to white color. And then let us say right click and send this to back. Yeah, that looks nice. So we have a nice bullet point. Now let me write my bulleted text here. Let us go to shapes and pick up the text box tool and then write the bulleted text. This is my bullet point. 
it doesn't matter what you write it is just a sample text i'm going to increase the font size slightly and i'm going to use a different font maybe this time amasis mt pro medium and choose a contrasting font color which is white and i'm going to place it over here now let me make a duplicate of this by selecting all these elements by pressing ctrl d i create the duplicate and i'm going to place it below the previous one like this and then when I hit Ctrl D again, the distance and everything is maintained properly. Now I have three bullet points. Now we have got our base design in place. Now I'm going to add some morph transition to add that fun element. So first let me right click and say duplicate slide. In the duplicate slide, I'm going to retain just the two bullet points and I'm going to take these elements out of the slide area. So I'm going to select this and then keep it outside the slide area like this. There is no designated place for keeping this. You can keep it wherever you want. Ensure that there is some distance between these elements and then I'm going to move this to this side. Yeah, perfect. Now I'm also going to do one more thing. I'm going to move this a little bit out like this so we can create some movement when the transition happens. Now let me right click, go to duplicate slide. Let us move these elements out here so we only have just one bullet point in this case and then let me add some movement by moving these half tone images a little bit like this and then let me right click and duplicate slide and this time i'm going to move all the elements out of the slide area so let us take this out like this and then keep it somewhere over here and then this one can be kept over here and I'm going to move this over here like this and then like this and this one can be out and this one can be out. Now we only have this plain background. Now let us reverse the order of the slides. So I'm going to have this as my first slide when everything is blank. Then I'm going to have this one bullet point then I'm going to have two bullet points and then the third bullet point. I'm going to select from the second slide onwards all these three slides and let me go to transitions and add morph transition. And I can have the duration as say 1.25 seconds if I don't really want it to be too slow. Let us go to the first slide and see how the design looks. So this is the way that we start. And then on a click, you can see that we have some very nice, interesting elements coming into the slide. And we have our first bullet point. Then on a click, you can see that the half tone is moving, adding to a bit of dynamism. And then we have the second bullet point coming. And then when I hit page down, you can see that there is a movement of the half tone and I have the third bullet point. If you want more creative ideas to make your bullet point slides interesting and engaging, you can sign up to this four day free email course called Bullet Points Reimagined. I will leave a link to this course in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and join this free email course. If you want to watch another video where I show three animation tricks you can use to make your bullet point list more interesting, then you can click on the link here right now on your screen and watch this video next. It'll be quite fun, so I'll see you inside that video.